This video has been kindly sponsored by Squarespace. Hi everyone! A while ago, I did a little yarn shopping video where I went to different yarn shops in the state that I live in and I was thinking it would be pretty cool to do this in different cities whenever I travel and since I'm going to Chicago very soon, I thought why not do one there? I don't do yarn hauls very often unless I have a very specific project in mind due to yarn being very expensive where I live but let's go ahead and see what Chicago has to offer. Before we even go anywhere though, we need a budget and a stricter one than last time. In the previous yarn shopping video, I spent $19.57 over my original budget, which wasn't bad, but this time I want to be able to stay within the budget I choose. I only want to purchase unique yarn with interesting colors or yarn I won't be able to get anywhere else, and I want to keep it at less than three skeins each shop. We're going to keep the budget in between $100 and $130, however, I'm hoping I can get eight skeins for only 20 bucks. I know that's practically impossible, but you never know. They might have sales going on. With all that said, I'll see you in Chicago. For this shopping experience, I'm not going alone this time. With me, I have Adia, Ardella, and Emily. The first shop we visited is called Sister Arts Studio, located in Lincoln Park. Lincoln Park was a pretty cool little area. On our way to the yarn shop, we passed by many restaurants, even stopping at this one vegan place to get a quick bite. Then from there, it only took us around 10 minutes to arrive at Sister Arts Studio, which was located off to the side of the street. Sister Art Studio was a beautiful yarn shop, you guys. Like, probably my favorite. I loved how everything was laid out, how many garments they had to show off the beautiful yarn options, and just how filled to the brim they were in yarn. They had a lot of books with many different knit and crochet patterns, as well as a binder filled with individual patterns too. They had trinkets near the cashier filled with keychains and tiny useful accessories, and an area for classes and going through your yarn purchases, which I thought looked so cozy and comfortable. Also, this robe that they had in the back I might need to learn how to make this because look how cozy it looks like this is such a beautiful robe Now for the yarn they had a bunch of yarn brands that I'd never heard of which I was happy about because I'm tired of looking at the same two brands that Michaels offers this Queensland collective yarn looks really cool I love the gradient in this greatest of ease yarn and how it came in a cute little bundle and this juniper moon yarn was really soft And the colors were incredibly beautiful for this shop I decided to let my friends choose the yarn that they wanted me to buy to make the yarn yarn choices be even more unique, and if they choose the yarn, I'd make a project for them. Adia wanted me to make her a beanie kind of inspired by these pictures. She picked up a lot of pretty yarn that she was interested in, and I thought it was cool she was slowly getting interested in the different fibers that were used in the yarn. The wonderful lady that worked at the shop helped her figure out what she wanted, and they ended up having a whole conversation about how the lady got started in knitting, and even had Adia go behind the counter to show her some of her favorite yarns, which was funny. I feel bad I didn't get her name, but she was more than happy for me to tell you all to stop by her shop. Towards the end of our shopping journey at Sister Arts, after much contemplation, Ardella chose the yarn that she wanted. She wanted me to make a cat beanie with tassels, kind of inspired by these pictures. She was struggling though, like if you can see, Ardella was going through her Pinterest for color inspiration, which I thought was adorable. Adia also made her final choice with this yarn as well. After making our purchases and heading out, we saw these cute tree appliques. I'm not sure if that's what it's called, but Adia thought this one looked like Jambet from Animal Crossing. Since we were in Lincoln Park, we decided to walk to the free zoo. The park before the zoo was so beautiful with all the flowers and the buildings behind it. When we got into the zoo, the first animals we saw were the snow monkeys. I almost cried from how adorable they were. I was always apprehensive to zoos and aquariums growing up because I was always worried about how the animals were being treated, but then I did some research and found out that there's a certification called AZA, which is only given to zoos and aquariums that are ethical and take care of their animals to the highest standards and Lincoln Park Zoo is apparently one of the best ethical zoos in America.
America. But yeah, we spent some time at the zoo, seeing some monkeys eat some cabbage, and some greedy seagulls bothering the flamingos. After, we headed over to the second and last yarn shop called Yarnify, which was located near Grant Park. Yarnify was located on the first floor of a building, and once we got inside, I instantly noticed how much beautiful natural sunlight they get in the shop. It was filled with a bunch of different yarn options, and I did recognize the majority of the brands they sold. I thought it was cute how they had this little section for Amigurumi yarn. One brand that did stick out to me was this one called Blossoms from Wonderland Yarns. I loved the gradients that each of the yarn skeins had, but for some reason I didn't end up buying any, so I'll have to check if I can get it online. I absolutely loved how this Baraco Sesame yarn looked, and of course I had to take a look at the Malabringo Caracol yarn, since I've always thought this yarn in particular was just so unique. This Lang yarn was unique to me and really squishy, and I loved how the colors in each skein went from dark to light. They even had more yarn to the side, which was kind of hidden by some of the shelves, which I ended up going through. At both yarn shops, Emily was having a hard time choosing which yarn she wanted for a top she wanted me to make her, kind of like these inspo picks. She also kept drifting towards finger weight yarn, which was probably going to be difficult for me to crochet a top with, so I showed her some of the sections with weight 3 and 4 yarn to look for an alternative to the yarn that she wanted. We ended up finding another room in the yarn shop that was filled with mini items on sale, which was really cool, as well as their stash of knit and crochet pattern books. In the front of the store, they sold these cute tote bags and other cute accessories. In the end, Emily finally chose her perfect yarn. After yarn shopping was officially over, we headed to a K-pop store nearby, which was probably the most stylish K-pop store I've ever seen. We didn't have too much time to explore it all that much since we were on a time crunch, but we did get to see Jen from BTS, which we were not expecting. Like, oh my god, we met a BTS member. The last time I was this close to one was during the Good Morning America thing they did a couple years ago. <laughs> Good morning! <laughs> to end the day, Emily and I went to the lake beach and got some nachos. I'm such an east coast girly, so I was pretty iffy about how the beach was going to be in the midwest, and unfortunately, it doesn't meet my expectations since I'm kind of spoiled from the east coast beaches with their boardwalks and different shops nearby and all of that, and it was pretty interesting seeing tall buildings right next to the beach, but it was still peaceful besides all of the mosquitoes, and after around an hour at the lake, all of us got back together for some Indian food, which was the last meal before our trip ended. I am finally back from Chicago and I recently just calculated all of the money I spent on the yarn shops and let's save that for last because uh we kind of went over budget. So I originally wanted to go to five different yarn shops but our plans were kind of all over the place. And so the day that I was able to actually go yarn shopping, it was on Monday and a lot of stuff is closed in Chicago on Monday. And so that took out two of the yarn shops. So I only had three left. And then by the time we got to the second one, it was already five o'clock, which the third one closes at five o'clock. And I was thinking about going to that third one first, but it was way out of the way. Like we were over here and like the two yarn shops were over here, the yarn shop was like right here. And it was like from where we were from the second yarn shop, the map said it would take over an hour train ride to get there. And it just wasn't possible at that time. So I was unfortunately only able to go to two, but looking at how much I spent, I'm kind of glad I only went to two. So for the first yarn shop that we went to, at first I was going to just get my own yarn, but since my friends were with me, I thought it would be cool for them to choose the yarn that they liked. And then I just make something for them with that yarn. So we spent quite a long time in that yarn shop um, because they were looking at the yarn for the first time and they didn't really know like anything about it. And the lady that works there, she was so, so sweet. She was talking to us the whole time about her experience with knitting and the shop and the classes that they had. And she was helping my friends figure out what material is best for what specific piece that they wanted. And she was really great. I, I think that shop out of the two is my favorite. It was just very warm and open. I loved all the different options that they had. And so let's show the yarn that we got. So Adia, she got these right here. Um, it's the brand Noro. And I was surprised about the Noro because I wasn't planning on getting Noro, I was planning on getting unique yarn and everything. 
and it was funny because I told them that Noro is one of my favorite yarn brands and they kind of drifted towards Noro, like the colors that were just popping out. They would look at the brand and be like, oh, it's Noro. So this is the one that Adia chose and she wants me to make a little hat for her with these and it would be pretty quick and easy to do. Thankfully, she offered to pay for hers so that kind of brought my cost down a bit for the first shop. And then for Ardella, she she was struggling to pick the colors like she chose a yarn and be like i don't know if i should choose this one or this one but eventually she settled on this one which is also noro but yeah this color combo is very pretty um ardella wants me to make her a cat beanie like the crochet cat beanie with the little tassels with the star tassels and stuff and i feel like this color would be perfect for that and there's a lot of extra so i might make her some other stuff with it as well or just throw it into one of my projects later on. But yeah, we didn't buy too much at this shop, but the choices were great to me. I'm realizing I never said the name. It's called Sister Art Studio and it's located in Lincoln Park. So definitely go there if you're ever in Chicago or if you live in Chicago and that's your favorite yarn shop, uh, let me know. Now the second yarn shop that I went to where I just balled out apparently is called Yarnify which is located in Grant Park. I got a lot of yarn but I first want to start with the yarn that Emily chose. So she chose this beautiful beautiful Barocco Summer Sesame yarn. It reminds me of the ocean. It's so so gorgeous and pretty and she wants me to make her a top with this. I like the crochet top for like the summertime and stuff and I think it would come out really cute. This is gorgeous and when I went yarn shopping in Georgia for my first yarn shopping video, I think I got this brand Barocco and I was even planning on making some tops with it with the knitting machine but it wasn't working out and so I'm very surprised that I ended up getting three other skeins of the same brand and I wasn't doing that on purpose. I was just going to a random place in the shop and being like, oh, that's really pretty. This is really pretty. I think I might get this because of the colors. And then later on I looked and it was all Morocco. Hopefully I'm saying the name right. So this was Emily's that she chose. And then the ones that I chose, I got this one here, which reminds me of like a summer sunset. It's really, really pretty. I really wanna use this for something. I just don't know what yet, but I knew I had to get it because this was absolutely gorgeous and unique. And then the other one I got is this earthy muted toned skein, which is still very gorgeous. I'm just realizing right now it says summer sesame. So obviously, it's based off of the summertime, which they did an amazing job at portraying that because this is, this gives me summer vibes. And so the last scheme that I got from the same brand is this one here. And I really like this. And these little bead things right here stood out to me. Um, they made me think of like box braids with like little beads in it, like the little beads that you can attach to your braids if you know what I'm talking about. Or like the little shells, like these shells right here that you can add to your uh, braids as well. It just reminded me of that. <laughs> this is just my, my box braid uh, skein of yarn. I don't know why it makes me think of them, but it does. But I really love the colors and hopefully I think of something nice for this. I got three other skeins of yarn. The first one I'm gonna start with is um, this brand called Simply Natural by Haiku. I'll show the label right here. Um, I originally wasn't gonna get this, but I thought it would be smart to get just something a little bit more simple. And I really like the color plus the little accents of light yellow within the mustard yellow, if you can see it. Um, I thought this was really pretty. It's very soft. So I've never heard of this brand before, but I would recommend it. It's very soft and I feel like it'll be very nice on the skin. The next brand, I think from now on, I might, whenever I do my yarn shopping videos, I'm always gonna buy a Malabrigo Caracol uh, yarn scheme because they're just so cool. Um, I think I got an orange one last time or a green one, I can't remember, but this is so beautiful. I, I've never seen this color combination in this yarn before, and I instantly knew like this is coming home with me. I love the purple and pinks and the little beiges in between. Like, it reminds me of cotton candy and it's so pretty. So hopefully I can think of something cool for that. And then the last scheme that I got is this one here. I got this because it was so big and also because I've never heard of the brand before. But yeah, I thought the colors were very pretty 
and that's kind of what drew me to it was just the colors and how big the yarn skein was and they had a lot of um color combinations but i think this is the one that just stuck out to me the most so i have written down here how much i spent at the first yarn shop for this skein right here this was 5402 and then adia she spent 3638 on these two skeins so if i were have to bought all of these myself I would have spent $90.40 on these three, but because Adia bought these, I only spent $54.02. Now for the second yarn shop, Emily spent $20 on this skein right here. And then for all of the other skeins that I bought, I've spent a whopping $156.56. So if Emily did not purchase this at the second yarn shop, I would have spent $176.56, which is a lot of money. And I swear, if I was not rushing, that would not have happened. And the other thing is my budget was not in my mind when I was going around in the second yarn shop just because I, I, I get pretty distracted and like my friends were with me. So I was talking to them. I was recording for the video. I was figuring out what kind of yarn I wanted. I was looking at the time because we had to be somewhere. And so with all of that, I kind of just felt like ah, I can't think straight. I'm gonna just buy it and call it a day. But I wish I thought straight because putting everything together with only the purchases that I made, I spent a total of $210.58. Now, if I purchased the yarn that my friends wanted, it would have been a total of $266.96. So I'm very grateful that they were like, oh, I can buy my own yarn. With mine only, I unfortunately went over the budget by $80.58. And that is very wild to me. Like, I feel like for the first video, I was only like, what, $20, $30 over budget? So this was, um, this was a failure, <laughs> a really big failure. But for next time when I go yarn shopping, the budget is going to be lowered and I'm going to be under budget. And that is a fact. And if it's not, then uh, you can unsubscribe. <laughs> Unfortunately, again, I couldn't go to all of the yarn shops I had planned, but I'm going to write them down here and link their websites down in the description box below so you can see them. And if you're ever in Chicago, you can visit all of the cool yarn shops that I wasn't able to go to. Before we go, though, I want to say a quick thank you to Squarespace for sponsoring this video. Squarespace is an all-in-one platform where you can create your very own website. I think it's perfect if you're someone who wants to open their own fiber arts business, whether if it's to sell your own pieces, open commissions, or even sell your own patterns. You can even use it to showcase your portfolio for your art as well. Squarespace offers numerous amounts of templates to get you started and the designer interface is beginner friendly and customizable so your website can look however you'd prefer. If you wanted to create your own business website, Squarespace offers a commerce tool which allows you to keep track of your inventory and your customer data. And you can even make cute newsletters which is really fun. If you're interested in Squarespace, you can go to squarespace.com for a free trial and you can use my code for 10% off of your first purchase. Thank you again to Squarespace for sponsoring this video.